Hey everyone, uh, my name's Tony. I am uh, the one of the owners here at Leona James Hair and Beauty. And over the next 30 days, and hopefully into the future, I'll be talking all things hairdressing. So I'll be bringing all different things to people online. Um, I will tell you a little bit about today's episode, um, but uh, let me tell you a little bit about what we do. So basically, um, uh, what we're trying to do is just talk all different things hairdressing. So there'll be things about washing hair, I've already done that, why we use De Lorenzo hair care, why we use Behave hair care, why we're a sustainable salon and what Sustainable Salon Australia um, <clears throat> uh, does and how they work with us. Um, hello, Jamie. Uh, we also will be talking about myths in hairdressing one day. We'll also be, g'day Tula, we'll also be talking about um, all the different ranges, why we use them, what's best for what, what type of situation, um, all those sorts of things. But we want this to be interactive. So it's critical that people are involved. One, very nice to say hello, um, but also ask questions um, on the topics at hand. Also, direct message me. If there's things that I haven't covered that you think would be very interesting to cover, please let me know and I will make sure that I do an episode on it. Someone message, uh, uh, actually, uh, pulled me aside and said, oh, you know what, it'd be really cool, uh, a, an episode about your tools and why you use them and how to use them, etc." And I was like, yeah, that's really cool. So we did one. Uh, it wasn't on my list to do, but I thought, well, it's a good idea. Let's get it done. So um, yeah, please direct message me. G'day, David. G'day, Bex. Um, please message me and I'll be more than happy to address those either questions about the episode or at a future episode, talk about what it is that you think is best. Um, just a, a good uh, reminder, uh, we, you can go online to www.ljhair.com.au if you'd like to buy any of our products. Uh, you can also uh, text message us on 0499 006 331 for appointments or again, information. Uh, feel more than welcome to jump online. But today, today is all about um, color, hair color in your hair uh, and what happens when you overwash. So I'm going to have another episode really about uh, the cuticle and how uh, the whole function of shampoo, then conditioner or treatments work. But today is going to be purely based on what happens when you overwash your hair, especially on colored hair. This doesn't necessarily apply um, uh, for reasons to not wash your hair too often on non-colored hair or very, very short hair. But for anyone that invests heavily, which people do, in their color, I suggest you watch this so you understand why I think it's important that you don't wash your hair on a daily basis. So uh, come with me, I've prepared a bit of an experiment so we can take you through uh, and show you a little bit of why I don't think it, it's great. So I'm walking backwards so it might be a bit awkward and a bit bumpy. But for those who have not seen this before, this is our back color room. I thought this is probably going to be the best place for us to, um, you know, do a little bit of an experiment. So what I've done is I've prepared four glasses here. So one, two, three, and four. Okay. Now, <clears throat> just so you don't think I've rigged this in any way, so I'm trying to, you know, make my own uh, reality true. What I've also done is. I have made one batch of color. So all these are equal. I've got a scale here, just in case you can't see it, uh, where I've weighed each one of these out so that they're all the same. Now there's four different categories that I'm gonna work with. So one is the person that washes the hair on a daily basis, and I'm gonna use 30 days as, um, a, a, as the basis. You know, obviously there's some, um, so obviously there is a, a, some, that will, some months that are t 31 and 30, and then others are 28, but we just use 30 as a number. It's nice and easy. I'll also do one for a person that washes their hair once a week, which is on the other extreme. Um, and we'll go for three days a week. And we'll also go for uh, twice a week. Okay. So once a week, twice a week, three times a week, every single day for 30 days. All right. Now, the way I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this example is I'm going to just use this running water. And every time I pass the cup through the running water would represent one day, okay? So for the one, the person that washes their hair once a week, let's do it as 28, because that makes actually more sense. 
because that would be 28 days, four times, four sevens, etc., etc. I think everyone can work it out in their head. So we use it as 28. Um, <clears throat> so it, for the person that washes it once a week, it will just be four times. One, two, three, four. Now for the person that washes their hair twice a week, it will be eight times. For the person that does it three times a week, it will be 12 times. And obviously for the person that washes it every single day on a 28-day cycle, we'll do it 28 times. So not 30, 28. Uh, <clears throat> so here goes. So I'll start with, obviously, the least, I think. Uh, we'll start from four, then to eight, then 12, and then 28. Here we go. Sorry about all the noise. And I'll count it out with you. So let's get it to the right temperature. I won't touch this again so it doesn't, you know, disrupt. One, two, three, four. That's the four days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's uh, every uh, twice a week. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's three times a week. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, <clears throat> as an example, what I have, and I'll get to some of these questions in a second, but these are all the three different options that you have. So if I can turn the camera for a second, I'm just gonna turn the camera, and I'm gonna show you. So that is if you washed your hair um, once a week. That there becomes the color if you do it twice a week. You can see the discoloration again on uh, three times a week, and there is what happens to color after every single day you wash your hair. Now, now give me one second. So I hope everyone can understand what happens there. So basically, without getting into the details about the cuticles, which I'll talk about at another episode, but basically every time you wash that hair, there is going to be some of that color, disc, disc, uh, this, some of that color come out. So discoloration is going to happen. doesn't matter how great your hair color is. doesn't matter how great your product is. It's always going to happen. Equally, even if you wanted to rate all the different hair color products that are, that are out there in the market, it doesn't matter. Because just to say you did the same hair color on the same type of thickness of hair on two different people, this example, and I'll show you it again, this example of discoloration or color seeping out of the hair will happen. Uh, it's, pretty sort of, it's pretty simple sort of uh, an equation. Now I'm just gonna scroll through here in case I've missed any questions that might be worthwhile answering. I haven't seen anywhere. Good coffee to, good coffee to have. I'd suggest that you uh, go to Edith Val General Store, great coffee joint, or Mackie, actually, as well, in Mulgrave. I think it works. Um, yes, I did use dye from Easter eggs. I can show you the packet. I haven't got it with me, but I'm sure everyone's seen it. Bit of Greek writing on it, and, but it's worked a treat for seeing how to make sure you look after your hair color. So I hope everyone's enjoyed that. And look, tonight, I'm also going to do a little bit of a segment on the worst hair cuts for men in history. So I reckon there's a few that might have, uh, uh, would have, have an understanding of what might be on that list. If you have, and anyone guesses what might be on the list of the worst haircuts ever, men's that is, you put it in there. If it comes up on the screen, I'll give you a prize. So go get typing away, type in what you think will be some of the worst haircuts that you've ever seen. So. I'm just going to turn this around. And before, before I, I get to the screen, so 
Bowl cut. Okay, I'm going to give it a... F I'll give it a few more minutes because I think it's important that um, that ultimately I give you guys some time to, to write some things on there before I show all the pictures. But anyone have a question about what happens with the, your hair colour? Do you need me to show another example of, of how that sort of works? I'm more than happy to. Um, please fire away. On, on that, please write a comment in there about what you think. Mullets, definitely. Bowl cut. Uh, your haircut around 10 years ago, Tony. Is that the fake hair there, Bex? I think that's what you're referring to. Frosted tips. Wow. Interesting. Um, all right. There's a few there. All right. So let's go. Let's see what's, let's see what's on this list. Number one. Everyone's favorite. Every, George Costanza. Everyone's favorite. The comb over. Yes. Everyone can agree that you just shouldn't do it, get over it. I have to say the best comb over I've seen is from the barbers down a couple doors from us. Reverse mohawk, that's another good one. Um, uh, uh, so everyone, uh, if you go to the barbers, the vault down the road, uh, the old man there, he's a champion, love him. Great comb over. The flat top, I don't, know if, I don't know if anyone ever remembers what a flat top looked like, but there it is. Anyone's watched uh, Rocky and remembers Drago? That is the person, my friends. Uh, the skullet. Let's see if that gets onto the list as well. Frosted tips. Whoever said frosted tips, boom. I believe it was Tula. Well done. Brilliant. You'll get a nice little prize. I'll send you a treatment. For all the blokes that are watching, I might not send you a treatment. I might send you a wax or something like that. Um, the emo fringe. I don't know what the, the image is, but uh, it's definitely not that. Um, the mullet. Of course, mullet's made it. You know it. Uh, although I don't know that this was necessarily a mullet. Anyway, whatever. Jean-Claude, thanks for making a pun. Sorry for all those bun lovers out there. But the man bun has come in at number six. Apologies again. Uh, some people like it. But apparently it's got into the worst of all time. Number seven is the aging rock star. And I haven't seen a picture there. So I'm just going to skip straight past it. The blowout. My brother Arthur had a blowout when he was mayor of the city of Kingston. Jump online and you can have a look at that one. Uh, it was actually quite hilarious, to be honest. Good for the time, so in fairness. Number 10, the rat's tail. Sorry, nephew James, but um, you've made it into the worst hairstyles of all time. Number 12, the curtains. An undercut, wow. That's amazing. I wouldn't have thought so. That's pretty big at the moment. But the Skrillex, that's apparently what a Skrillex is. Don't know exactly. I'm guessing it's what my little uh, boy Dimitri is rocking at the moment, really. Uh, that shave on the side. And I believe that is it. So congratulations, those who made it onto the list. I, I got a list of it here, so that's pretty cool. Now remember, tonight's episode was all about hair color and washing. Um, and for those that haven't seen it yet, this is what happens to your hair color if you wash it once a week. Twice a week, three times a week, and that is every single day washing. You have hardly any color left. Enjoy everybody, have a great one, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow for something else exciting. Please remember to direct message me because I think, uh, uh, I'd like to hear from you and I want to uh, address all the different concerns that you might have about hairdressing. Thanks. Bye.